Hello, today I'm going to show you how you program the Enrico T199 and also the T320 um, so you can use it with PTT for you service. It's a very simple process, nothing complicated about it. The process is absolutely the same that you would use even to program the Enrico TM7, the mobile here, you can, you can see the background, or any other Android device. There are different methods, but this one works pretty much for every Android radio, like the TalkPod N58 that I can show you here. Uh, this is a different, that would be a different method for the TalkPod N55, because this one here is not an Android radio, okay? This is a completely different system with a different method and different software to program it, okay? But there are videos uh, about this already uh, on how you can install the PTT for your service in that device. Okay, you may ask, okay, but the T199, you don't even have a, a display on it. How do you, so you, and you say it's an Android. Yes, this is an Android radio. Uh, and imagine that it has a display. It's just not, it's just not there, but you can see what's going on on the display. You just have to connect to the computer. Okay, and how do you do that? Well, it's quite easy. You just uh, have to connect to the USB cable and make sure you use this one here on the side because this one is just uh, to charge the radio, okay? You can also use a desktop charger like this one, quite neat actually. But so you want to connect the cable here. Before we connect, uh, let me remove the battery. I want to show you the compartment here. Um, obviously you have to use the, the SIM card here. This one is 4G, but the 3G will do because this is a 3G radio. And here, this number here is the email of your network radio. And that's what you need to connect to the PTT for you service. It will check for your email and then you are logged in in your private group uh, for two-way communications. Okay, so I'm going to switch um, uh, the battery, uh, to switch on the radio, I mean. I'll connect the cable. And now uh, I have here a software on my Windows computer, normal computer, called Total Control, okay? And because I have it installed before, it will detect automatically the radio. But the first time uh, when you get the ptt for u radio, you will also receive a download link for the software, which means uh, this uh, can be installed on uh, any computer uh, with Windows running on it, okay? Uh, you have to install the drivers, obviously, but this is all very straightforward. It works quite well. You don't have to worry about it, okay? Um, once you uh, come to the screen here where you are ready to connect to your T199, before you connect the first time, make sure you press this button here and you choose the mode of uh, the connecting mode. And you have to choose this one here on the, on the right side. It's called compatibility mode, okay? The turbo mode one and two, um, it doesn't work, okay? So choose this one here. You click OK. Now I press Connect. And here we are. I have now the screen of my T199. So the radio itself does not have a screen, but the screen can be shown here on your computer. Um, as this is a touch screen computer, I'm just going to use my fingers here because it makes easier. Ah, this is saying that uh, I have installed um, the, the Total Control because Total Control actually when you connect it for the first time it will um, connect directly to your um, ra uh, radio, the computer connects to the radio and it installs the service automatically. Okay, so now I have the Total Control, I have access to my Enrico T199. Next thing I want to do is install the service for PTT for you. So what I do is I just I have here the the file, and you will get this file obviously when you order the PTT for you service. This is the client application, and I can just drag and drop here, and make sure you install it on the phone memory as the T199 does not have an SD card. It couldn't be easier. <laughs> Within a few seconds, you will have PTT for you service running on your Enrico T199. The T199, it's, uh, it has 3G, obviously, but you can also use the Wi-Fi network. This means if you don't want to use a SIM card and if you have a good Wi-Fi connection, 
then you just have to program it as if you would do on a normal Android device, okay? The thing is, if you change Wi-Fi connection, you want to make sure you'll program it on your computer because you don't have a display here to connect it. So, but if you're not planning to change the Wi-Fi environment, then that could be also an option, okay? Um, <clears throat> so now I have here, you see the pdt for u logo is there. I can run it. Um, and uh, once I run it for the first time, it will take a little bit longer, but then it will detect your email. And if the email is registered to the PTT for you service in, the, in our servers, then uh, it will automatically input the credentials for you. So you see, you see here account and password. You don't have to worry about it. You have more important things to think about it. So it will detect, you see here, and now you're logged in to the connect to the network. Okay, I had the volume down so you could not listen, but it will say logging and uh, in this case it will say that the group is PTT for you. Okay, so now this radio has PTT for you installed. You just want to make a little thing here, which is click here on run software interface at startup. And why? Because then if you remove the battery or you power off the radio and start it again, you want the PTT for you app to be running all the time. Okay. And you're done. That's it. You can remove now the cable. And this radio, if I press the PTT button, is going to transmit on my private PTT for you group. Okay. I don't have one now programmed in the same group, but I'm going to use my T320 and I will program also the PTT for you service. You there are there are different methods to 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 program this one because you know I could install my email account here and download the the, the file from from there. I could use for example Google Drive. Uh, I could install a, an SD card with the PTT for you application and run it from there. You know, but you know you can you can just use the same method because if everything is installed in your computer, why not just to use the total control uh, software? So I'm going to connect it here to the USB cable, just like that. Let me put it like this. So you want to you want be able to. Oh, by the way, if you want to use the Total Control uh, software, you have to allow uh, USB debugging uh, mode. Okay, I'm gonna I'm going to show you that in a minute. Let it just install or while it is installing, I will just show you. So what you want to do is you go to, um, sorry, you go here to settings. Okay. And you go to the last item here on the list of your settings of your phone and you see about phone. Okay. And here, if you see the build number, you have to press it several times until you it will display you are already in developer mode at this moment because uh, I'm already with developer mode I see this message no need you are already developer mode but you have to press it seven times I think it's seven times okay and once that is done it will show a new menu that was hidden before called developer options okay that's the one here okay and now and now you have to go to to this one here, USB debugging, and it must be switched on. Otherwise, this total control will not work. Okay, so you have to do this process before. We haven't done it in the Enrico T199 because by default it's already like that. Okay, when it comes from the factory, you don't have to take care about this. Okay, so sorry I forgot to mention this in the beginning, but it's only this quick step that is uh, very easy. Okay, so now. Um, let's continue. In the meantime, uh, we have installed already the, the Total Control software and I'll just connect, okay? And here, I think you recognize this display here. This is the display from my T320. And I'm going to do exactly the same. I'll just drag and drop. I'd say I want to install in the phone memory. I installed the PTT for you application in here. 
and you will be good to go. The email of this radio is also registered with the PTT4U service exactly on the same private group of the T199. So once I have the software installed in my radio, I will be able to talk from one radio to another. And with the biggest advantage that it doesn't matter where, where you are, you can be in different countries, in different continents. As far as you have access to the internet through either your 3G or, or Wi-Fi, you'll be good. You'll be able to talk. I'll just say yes, that I know this will take some... This will take some uh, battery drain, this type of app. I will ex allow it to access to my files so I can send pictures. I can even receive SMS. Yes, I want to use the audio settings and I want to allow my GPS uh, connection. Obtain account success. Enter yeah. group. And there you are. Okay, so now I'm going to disconnect my radio from the USB cable. And you see here, this is uh, my T320 that is running exactly the same software on the T199. So if I talk here, let me put the audio. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. You get a little bit of echo because of the delay. And if I do the other way around, one, two, three. One, two, three. You see? Quite impressive, isn't it? And this one here is the SOS button. Let's see what happens. And we have a SOS sent. And uh, if, uh, if if you go here to the set to the map, you can actually see the location of uh, the the several stations. Okay, so I see here the T199. I see where the guy is, um, so I can see what happened uh, with my, my co-worker, okay? It couldn't be easier, as you see, okay? And the process is exactly the same, as I said, to install it on the TM7, on a TopPod N58, on a Shure F22, 25, any Android radio works exactly the same way to install the PTT for your service. So if you have any doubts, please just drop me a line. I'll be happy to help you. Bye-bye.